Well, we're talking about face shapes. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you what haircuts are gonna work the best for all the individual face shapes. Now, before we get to that, my name is Justin Hickox. If you're new to my channel, I share hair tips, things I've learned over 25 years. So if your hair is important to you, you're gonna wanna join all the other folks here and hit that subscribe button so that you can catch every Tuesday when I bring out a brand new video. But today, like I said, let's dive into some hair tips about face shapes. Here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna go through all the face shapes and then at the very end, we have to understand that I realize not everybody fits into a specific face shape. Some people are a mixture of a couple or even a few different face shapes. So I've got a plan for you too. Don't stress it. At the end, I've got you covered. But oval face shapes. With an oval face shape, you have a lot of options. You can do a ton. It's really gonna be up to you. You can play with texture, you can play with bangs, you can play with length. There isn't one specific length that you have to worry about. What I would say for you is pay very close attention to how much time you wanna spend on it in the morning. If you don't wanna spend a ton of time, then think about your style more based in how much day-to-day -day maintenance is gonna be required. And then also think about your hair texture. If you have really thick, full hair, maybe it's curly and it compounds on itself and it gets a bunch of volume, well, ask yourself, where do you want volume? Where do you like to have volume? And remove the volume from the other areas. So start playing with things and really figure out what you want your hair to do and work with that. Okay, so the next face shape is gonna be all about round faces. I know, I've actually done another video about that. So if you want another video, make sure you uh, look upstairs. Right up there, there's a video all about round face shapes. But when we're talking about round face shapes, we need to pay attention to how much fullness we're adding on the sides. So if we add too much fullness, it'll have a tendency to make that face look more round. If that's not what you're going for, then you probably don't wanna put anything right in at the chin, no strong bob shapes right to the chin. You also wanna be aware of bangs, right? Are you wearing something that's really closed off? If you have a tendency to wear really thick, especially a straight across bang, the probability is high that it's going to make your face look very closed, and that, again, can draw more emphasis to width. What we wanna focus on is more elongation. We wanna elongate the face, and one simple way we can do that is by elongating the face through the length. If we bring this length down a little bit, then we're going to have a little bit more of an elongation in the face shape. So that's one thing that we really wanna pay attention to. We also wanna pay attention to opening the face up a little bit more and creating more angles in it. One way that we can do that is to break up the front a little bit with some layering. If you're gonna have the length, break the front up, have some softness, get it back off your face, or have some pieces that do come into your face just as long as nothing, again, is coming directly hard and strong into the chin. So paying attention to not closing your face off too much, paying attention to not by not having a strong bang, and paying attention to having it long enough or creating more volume in the top, that's gonna help create more elongation and ultimately take your eye away from it adding too much width. Okay, so now let's talk about a square face shape. So on a square face shape, your focus is somewhat similar actually to a round face shape in that you're not trying to add too much overall width. You really want to elongate the face again, but you're also wanting to make sure that you don't accentuate the already rather strong angles in your face. So softness is a big deal. But first off, you wanna start keeping that length either below the chin or making sure that you don't have too much volume again in the sides. So both of those things work. So if you're gonna bring a length up closer to your chin, not right at the chin, I wouldn't recommend that, but closer to your chin, it's just very, very important that you pay attention to the amount of volume you're getting in the sides or that you're getting enough volume on the top to offset the volume on the sides so that it doesn't have a tendency to make it look too wide. Now, when we're talking about angles, we just wanna be sure that we don't do anything so strong that it ends up accentuating the angular look that you already have. We want to soften that just a little bit. So bangs are a great option. Now, back up, if you already haven't seen my video about which bangs are best for which face shapes, make sure you go ahead and check that out right up here right now, or at least after this video, because that's gonna help you determine what bangs are gonna make the most sense. But bangs are a fantastic option for square faces, and it's definitely something that you should take a look at. So let's talk about the oblong face shape. Now, first of all, Oblong face shapes, you wanna be really paying attention to trying to actually not pull it out too much. You wanna pay attention to actually adding a little bit of fullness. So what that means is you wanna pay attention to having some length or some fullness in around the chin. Actually, a chin length bob works really well for that type of face shape. As long as you're paying attention to not having anything too flat and too long or no layers in the front, drawing that line straight down, you can do bangs. Bangs are great because bangs can actually help 
to add more fullness to the cheeks, which is really what we're trying to do. And having a little bit of bangs for softness can also help just give the overall shape a fun look. Now, let's talk about heart face shapes. So with a heart face shape, we wanna pay attention, ooh, parkour. I look stupid. Anyway, we wanna pay attention to adding a little bit more width around the cheeks. So a really ideal form for this would be adding some volume around that cheek area. Having a length that comes directly into the cheeks would be great, into the chin is perfect. Having some layers that emphasize the cheeks is a great idea. All of those things work really well. Hi, hi Kevin. Anyway, <laughs> back to heart face shapes. We wanna also pay attention to not adding too much width around this bone right here, right? So kind of around the temple bone. And we also wanna make sure that we add a little bit of width to the forehead. So one way we can do that is bangs do work to kind of break this up a little bit. Again, check out the bang video because it'll help you understand which bangs will work best from you. But making sure that you have, oh my gosh, dude, I know, you need, you need, you're so needy. Um, making sure that you have, that you're not adding too much width around your eyes and offsetting some of that width by adding width through your chin or your cheeks is a really solid move if you've got a heart face shape. Adding wave to your hair is a great way of breaking that shape up and offsetting the areas that we wanna offset. So, a wavy length into the chin would be great. Give that a shot. This guy is really, really, really on it right now, isn't he? Oh boy, gotta love dogs. Anyway, so moving on to diamond face shapes. Okay, so now a diamond face shape is kind of similar to a heart face shape in that you're really focused on trying to create the illusion of more fullness down in through the cheeks. So again, this is a situation when volume around the cheeks or a length directly into the chin is gonna work really, really, really well. Or having longer length can function really well too, especially in diamond face shapes. You can get away with a lot more in terms of lengths, but having a little bit of volume through there, so having layers that face frame and come into the chin can also work or having even some wave through the sides that give a little bit more volume through there can work really well. One thing that also works well with diamond face shapes is simply tucking it behind your ear, right? Tucking behind one ear can open that up a little bit and draw a little bit more width through your cheek and through your jawline, but also create a little bit more of a softness in that. Again, bangs work really well for diamond face shapes, so definitely look into some bangs if you haven't played with that idea yet. Now, what happens if you actually have a mixture of face shapes, right? You're, you don't fit into just one specific mold. What do you do? That's a great question. I'm glad you asked. Here's the way I prefer to tackle those situations. I like to choose what you like about your face shape. Is there anything about your face shape that you absolutely love, that you really want to draw emphasis or focus on? Or is there anything about your face shape that maybe you don't love so much? Something that maybe you would like to take emphasis away from? If one of those things are true, or even if a combination of those things are true, then I like to work the shape around what is going to take the emphasis off or add the emphasis to that thing. Maybe you feel like you've got really full cheeks and maybe for whatever reason that bothers you and it always has and so you wanna minimize the fullness in your cheeks. Well then again, much like a round or a square face shape, we wanna pay attention to not having too much fullness on the sides because that will accentuate them. We want to elongate your face because that will take away the illusion of the fullness in the cheeks and make it look longer. We want to take focus and put it on the areas that you really like. Maybe you really love your cheekbones and that's like your favorite thing and you want to accentuate the snot out of them. That does not sound right, but you get my point. And what I would do in that scenario is make sure that you have some of the volume in the sides laying in. You create more volume up around this area in the temples so that this line follows the lines of the cheekbone. That's gonna draw the eye up and it's gonna draw more emphasis and accentuate those cheek structure, that cheek structure more. The point being is focus on what you like and what you don't like and then work the shape around that. But also, one other thing that I would take into consideration, if you have a face shape, and really, this goes for any of the face shapes, no matter what shape you choose, first of all, always think about your hair texture, always think about what you're trying to achieve in terms of day-to-day -day maintenance, always pay attention to how long this style or shape is going to take to make it function for you. Many cases, you might find yourself in a situation where to create the overall shape that you actually want in your hair, it takes some styling. Yes, it's cut into your hair, but without that styling, it still isn't showing that shape the way that it could. 
and therefore it's still not functioning for your face shape the way that you want it to. And by the way, I don't know if you saw these guys, but um, say hi, buddy. These little puppies, if you go ahead and pay attention to one of these two videos right now where I'm gonna share a little bit more important stuff that you need to see, also, it helps to feed these guys. <laughs> How do you not wanna feed these guys? They're like sleeping right now. They don't even care about this anymore. Okay, well, thanks for hanging out. Subscribe.